Hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber. And today we are going to talk about circuit venting. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. Unfortunately, code is not easy to read. It's not necessarily laid out in a logical way. So I'm going to change around how I go through these code clauses. I'm not going to go through them in order. I'm going to go through clause 2531 part 1, 3, 4, and 9. What I plan to do here is read through the codes as they're written and then describe what those codes actually mean. Sometimes they will be self-explanatory, sometimes not. The purpose of a circuit vented system is simply to drain multiple fixtures through one drain pipe, including water closets. Up till now we've had a limitation of two water closets into a wet vented system. The circuit vent makes it so we can do a lot more. As I mentioned, we're going to be reading from clause 2531 and it's entitled circuit venting. Part 1. A section of horizontal branch is permitted to be circuit vented, provided a. a circuit vent is connected to it, b. all fixtures served by the circuit vent are located in the same story, and c. no soil waste stack is connected to it upstream of a circuit vented fixture. Here is a picture of a circuit vented system. Part A said we needed a circuit vent connected to it. Well that's this vent pipe coming off the very end here. That is just a pipe that goes all the way to atmosphere through the roof of the building somewhere. Part B suggests that all the fixtures that connect to the circuit vent are connecting to it on the same story. Meaning you can't have some fixture upstairs draining down into it. That also speaks to part C. A soil away stack is a drain pipe that passes through a full story or drains through a full story. We cannot connect that into the circuit vented area here. And that is anywhere between here and here on this picture. Part 3. Except as provided in sentences 4 and 5, a relief vent shall be connected to the branch that forms part of the circuit vented system, downstream of the connection of the most downstream circuit vented fixture. So this is an extremely roundabout way of saying you need a relief vent, and it needs to be on the lowest end of the circuit vented system. The purpose of a relief vent is to relieve positive pressures. We can see it drawn in the picture here, and notice how it is vented off to atmosphere just like every other plumbing vent. Now part 3 did say, except as provided in sentences 4 and 5. Part 5 is going to be covered in a later video, but part 4, let's go through that. Part 4 says, a solar waste pipe having a hydraulic load not greater than 6 fixed units is permitted to act as a relief vent for a branch that is circuit vented. What this is telling me is I can have any drain pipe acting as this relief vent, given there is no more than 6 fixture units draining through it. In this example, we have a bathroom group, which equals six fixture units, draining through this soil away stack. This soil away stack is acting as a relief vent. Part 9. A circuit vented branch, including the fixture drain downstream of the circuit vent connection, shall be sized in accordance with Article 2417, except that it shall be not less than two inches, or traps less than two inches in size are circuit vented, or b, three inches, where traps two inches in size or larger are circuit vented. Let's unpack this. First of all, the circuit vented branch, that is the drain pipe that goes between the relief vent and the circuit vent, shall be sized in accordance with article 24107. If you read that up, it's gonna say it needs to be sized as a branch from the branch table, which is 24106B. The next two line items talk about the minimum size of a circuit vented branch. If I have a bunch of fixtures that have traps less than two inches in size, so one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch, then I need a minimum two inch circuit vented branch. But if my trap sizes are two inches and up, the minimum size of circuit vented branch will be three inch. All right, we're just scratching the surface here, so stay tuned for video two and you have yourself a wonderful day.